Hi, as wildlife photographers, we carry a ton of gear to different places. Now, many people ask me, what's the kind of bags that I use for not just travel, but also on shoots? Hi, my name is Jayan Sharma, and in this video, I'm gonna share all the different kinds of combinations of bags and how I travel either on air or could be by car to a national park, on safari, various kinds of terrain. Let's use this time to share some ideas on how I pack my bags and how I travel. By the way, if you're here for the first time, please consider subscribing to the Toehold TV. And also please hit the bell icon so that you get notifications for any future updates. All right, the first use case for me is let's say I travel to a place like Kabini or Anthambur or Bandhavgarh or Tadoba or any place in India where I might need a few telephoto lenses, a wide angle lens and a mid range lens like the 70 to 200. So I'm a Sony brand ambassador, I'm the Sony artisan. I use the 70 to 200 uh, Sony um, G Master lens and of course uh, a camera like the A7 IV or the A7R4 that I use along with that either a Sony 400 f2.8 or a 600mm f4 lens that I use and then of course I do have the Sony Alpha 1 which I'd like to put in a pouch like this in case I'm not mounting it on the camera and I'm carrying. So what do I do guys? So first of all I use the toe hold sling bag. I recently made a video on what the toe hold sling bag is. It is this one where we mount <coughs> either just the telephoto lens inside or even the telephoto lens with a small body or even a full frame body that we can mount and that's how I travel which you already know this is one of the use cases for me now let's keep this aside and assuming I have put my Sony Alpha 1 as well inside this let's put this aside this is one of my hand baggages now apart from that I use this bag which is a simple backpack I can wear this and what it has is a lot of space for not just my laptop that I can put here along with that I also use a bag like this. Now, this is a bag made by a brand called Think Tank. What does this bag do? It takes a 70 to 200 mm lens in a form where the hood is reversed and I zip it up like this and I can carry it to the field. Now you might ask me, why do I need this bag? Well, that is because not just for air travel, but when I'm on safari, I'd not like to leave my lens outside in a place like Bandhavgarh which is a sandstone plateau, a lot of dust. Ranthambore in the summer can be very dusty. So I put a bag like this inside this backpack. Let me show it for you. <clears throat> and along with that, I put my laptop and maybe even a couple of small lenses and teleconverters inside this. And that's how I pack it. And this is one of my most common use cases. I wear this bag and along with that, I get the toe holds sling bag that I hand hold and walk around in the airports. This is the most frequently used style of my travel and my packing the bags. Now, let's see some other combinations of what kind of bags I use. All right, this is the second style of my backpacking or let's say camera backpacking so that when I travel, it's convenient. Now, where would I use this style of an operation? Let's say if I'm on a trip where I need to carry my camera uh, for a long distance on foot, then my previous combination is not ideal because that has a laptop bag that is not a conventional camera bag, which is where here comes the Gura Gear's very famous backpack. It used to be called Kiboko. I have no idea what's the latest model in this bag. This is a very light bag, about two kilos empty. And what I do is I carry the entire set of gear <coughs> just for records the 400 2.8 or the 600 mm f4 and of course the 70 to 200 a 24 70 or a 24 105 a teleconverters two bodies and all of that in one bag the beauty of this bag is let's say you're on a shoot let's say you're on a safari and you just need to open one half of this bag so that you can put a telephoto lens like a 400 2.8 and of course you can also mount it with your um, camera in my case the alpha one with a 400 2.8 i can zip it up I can also mount the body in the lens or I can just leave that as is. Now the other side of the bag is where I can use this space to either mount the 7200 mounted on the camera body or I could even be doing something like 
using the rest of the space for teleconverters and maybe a 2470 and stuff like that. And this goes in, in this bag very well. And this is one of my most commonly used combinations as well. Now, the downside of this is it's very heavy on your spinal cord. You need a lot of um, you know, um, uh, patience to carry this on the field because it is going to pain after a long time. Also, one more big disadvantage of this style, you cannot put your laptop in this bag because this is not designed for a laptop. So if I'm wearing this bag, I would need another laptop bag, of course, one of my most favorite, the To Me uh, bag, especially for air travel because I don't need to pull my laptop out. I'll show you this bag in a bit. This is my second style of travel. Now, let's say I'm traveling to a place like Kamchatka or let's say Patagonia where I need a backpack, where I put all my camera gear. The previous configuration is what I would like to use. But then that's for also the field and air travel. One of the disadvantages of that style, as I said, is it's heavy on the back. So what I do, let's say I'm flying to Brazil on the Pantanal expedition, or let's say I'm going to the Arctic for the polar bear expedition. It's a lot of time in the transit, let's say in the Dubai airport for seven hours, eight hours. Also a long flight from Dubai to uh, Brazil, which is 14 hours or Dubai to Costa Rica, which is you know, quite a lot of flying. So I have figured a new combination, which is multi bag combination. You must understand before you decide the style of configuration for packing or the bags, you also have to understand what's the baggage allowance on your flight. Now, let's say I'm flying the Emirates airline, which is my frequent flight, I mean, frequent flyer uh, status airline. Um, I prefer uh, to go anywhere in the world if it is six hours and plus on the same airline because it comes with a lot of benefits. One of the biggest benefits, for example, I'm a gold member of the Emirates Skyward program. I'm not doing an endorsement here, but just to tell you for a photographer how useful it is. If you're a silver member, you get 12 kilos of excess luggage. Now, let's say you have a 30 kilo allowance on your economy ticket, you get 42 kilos. Now, as a gold member, I get 16 kilos of excess luggage. If I have a 30 kilo ticket, I have 46 kilos of baggage allowance, which means I can have two 23 kilo bags. I'll show you how it works. Now, this is a bag, again, one of my favorite brands. This is called the Tumi. It's actually a strolly bag, which uh, is very, very ideal. It's in combination with my laptop bag. Now, let's see what this bag does. It's a beautifully crafted bag, and one of the reasons I love this brand, it also personalizes the brand's bags for you. For example, as you can see on my um, laptop bag, I have a personalized badge there. So likewise, even here, they can personalize your name if you want. Now, this is the Tumi's backpack. Let's see how this works. I'm going to fit this. What I have done is I have pulled out some of these separators from my other backpacks. Could be a low pro or could be even a Gura Gear's, uh, you know, uh, separators. What I do, I put the 400 millimeter lens here. I put um, the 70 to 200 mm lens here. And of course, I use the rest of the space for something like my bag, uh, this is a camera bag. Of course, I put the teleconverter, a 24mm or a 2470 lens. And of course, I put this together here. And let's close this. It seems like a luggage bag. It's like a business executive's bag. Nobody knows what's inside except the guy who does your baggage screening. Now, this happens to be a very proven model for me. For years together, I use this style of operations. And I'm going to use my backpack. And it goes very well here where I can push this out. And this is the style in which I travel long distance flights because you don't want your bag to be strained by all of these uh, kind of uh, heavy luggage. And this is one of my most popular ways of traveling. Absolutely free on your back. Just pull the bag around in an airport, which is, you know, let's say with a lot of transit time. And with this method, there is a disadvantage. The disadvantage is once you land in Brazil, let's say you're in the Pantanal, these are very luxurious bags. It is not practical to take it on a boat or on a safari. So this bag's purpose ends when you reach your destination. What do we do when we go there? Let's talk about soon. All right, now with the previous combination of using a trolley bag with a laptop bag along with that, I can carry my 400, 2.8, 70, 200, two bodies, teleconverter, 2470, all my safari gear 
and of course that is only when you want to travel on air. Now if you want to use the bag while on a safari or while on foot, let's say in Patagonia I want to wear my backpack with the lenses and hold my tripod and walk kilometers together scanning for pumas or let's say I am on a boat in jaguar country and I'm sitting in a boat scanning for jaguars or I'm in Costa Rica hiking for birds, I may need a backpack which can take a lot of gear. Now exactly what's in my trolley bag goes into this. But how do I carry both these to the field? So here's where your frequent flyer status or the kind of ticket you have makes a lot of sense. In my case, all I need is 123 kilo bags to put in a lot of my luggage. Could be t-shirts, trousers, innerwear, socks, and all of the you know, toiletries and medical kits and all of that in 123 kilo bags. Now, what I do is very interesting guys. I use something called as a pelican case. We'll talk about this bag in a bit. I use something called as a pelican case. Now this is a pelican case. Of course, I have made this canvas cover on top of the pelican case. Now what's a pelican case? It's basically a sturdy box which comes uh, with about 8-9 kilos of weight which is empty. Now what we do is, we open this box and it comes with cushioning. So let me show this to you. It comes with cushioning and in this box, I have cut open this cushion to suit the exact size of my lenses. Now let me fill this with my gear and show you how it looks like. All right, so I have put all the equipment, exactly what we were talking about. A 402.8, a teleconverter, two full frame bodies like the Alpha 7 4 and the Alpha 1. 70 to 200 mm 2.8 G Master 2470 or a 24105, absolutely fitting the Pelican case like a dream. This has been chiseled to fit my gear. So what's the advantage of this? So let me first close this. Now this is an airtight sealed box. And of course I have made this canvas just to make sure the airlines don't stick on my bag and it gets dirty after a while. Now, I'll not do it right now. So once you fit this, this is a bag which can be checked in. Now let's say based on the weight I have of the gear and the empty box, this is approximately 20 to 22 kilos. This can be checked in if you have the heart to let a bag like this go through airlines. I've done it umpteen number of times, very safe. Even a truck can go over this box, nothing would happen to your gear. This is one of my most popular style of travel. If I have the baggage allowance. Now, let's say if I don't have the empty 10 kilo baggage allowance capacity, I need a, a lighter bag. So what do I do? I use this bag, fit all of these inside this bag, and I do something else. Let me just quickly change that. All right, so as I said, remember, I use a trolley bag with a laptop bag to carry all my stuff in the cabin itself. I also want to mention that you may want to be a frequent flyer to do that because it needs confidence to carry so much gear. And if you're a, let's say for Emirates Airlines, Skyward Silver Gold member, they don't really pester you too much. But if you are in the economy class where you're not a frequent flyer, if they see a heavy bag you are carrying on the cabin, they'll come and pester you and ask you to check it in. You don't want your camera bags without cushion and proper protection to be checked in, right? So be very careful before you adopt that style of travel. Now let's say I have a 23 kilo bag allowance to carry a lot of stuff, but um, I do not want to use the Pelican case which has a 10 kilo empty weight. So what I do, and also I need this bag on the field. Remember right now it's empty. Where is all the gear? It's in my trolley bag, it's in uh, my cabin. Now what I do is I use a backpack like this. I put it in a suitcase like this, which is of course a Samsonite suitcase, which is about 1.9 kilos or two kilos empty. About two kilos of this bag and I still have a lot of space. I use this empty space for a tripod, for let's say socks, for cushions, for headgear, for gloves if I go to the Arctic, and many such things. Now, please note my camera bag is empty right now, right? I've not put any camera gear here. This is where I put the chargers, the battery, um, what can I say, the chargers. You are not supposed to check in the batteries, but all the chargers I put it in here, cables, I put a lot of stuff, maybe even your toiletries, maybe even your socks, maybe even your um, apparels, which you don't need to be you know, uh, ironed and well pressed and stuff like that. I use this bag because I need this empty when I go to the field. But while I'm traveling on air, I need this to be just checked in with a lot of other things like a tripod with, with respect to 
uh, a pan pot or it could be bean bag, it could be another set of shoes, it could be my gum boots, it could be a lot of other things that goes into this bag which I use on travel. So one back bag with a similar size with my luggage which has my clothes, this bag with another camera bag empty, lot of charger, cables, wires, accessories, socks, underwears, headgear and all of that gloves and stuff like that goes into this bag. Ensure this is about 23 kilos. The other luggage bag is about 23 kilos. Two bags check in, trolley bag with my gear, and of course, I need a laptop bag with a lot of stuff as well, including an iPad, maybe cables and stuff like that. So this is one more combination. Lastly, I want to show you a secret bag that I carry, especially on expeditions where I am on the sea. Okay, here's the last use case. Let's say. I'm in the Arctic, I'm on a Zodiac on the Svalbard photo expedition. That is where I use a backpack like this. Now the problem with this kind of a backpack is it can't hold a, a telephoto lens with a hood in shooting position, it doesn't fit the bag. So what I do, I use a bag like this to put the 70 to 200 or let's say a 200, 600 with wide angle lenses, camera cleaning cloth and all of that in this backpack. Now this backpack is going to be on the Zodiac with me or even on the ship with me. But when we are at sea, it's not advisable to have camera gear without protection. Why? Because it can have a breeze or a wind and the sea water can come splashing into the zodiac. And salt water is not great for camera gear at all. So what we do is I use a bag like this, which is something which is very interesting. It's a waterproof bag. I simply put this inside the waterproof bag in shooting position and of course if you've been into diving you know these are called dry bags so I would roll this to the size of my lens if it's a 600 I need more if it's just about 400 2.8 this bag is okay you can also carry it on the backpack and keep it on the floor while you're at sea and when there is a polar bear or when you're actually shooting if you're cruising keep it like this when you have a shoot, or let's say the, the polar bear is at a distance, it takes less than 30 seconds to open this. Sometimes I even keep it like this so that I can put my hand inside and pull out my lens as quickly as possible so that I can start shooting on the field. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm ready now to shoot. As soon as I'm done, just to be safe, I can push it inside the sleeve and leave it on the floor so that the water doesn't come on my lens. If you're going to Bandhavgarh, Rantambore, where dust is a big problem, I don't see a reason why you don't need to use this. So that is pretty much my configuration and combination of how I pack my bags. My name is Jain Sharma. If you want to learn photography, you're most welcome to the Toehold Academy. Ask us about our courses and I'll be happy to share information. Take care, guys.